Welcome to CBS 2018 here in Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Sonia Gill, who is the Secretary General of the Caribbean Broadcasting Union, CBU, and uh, based in Barbados. But I know that obviously you cover the the, uh, the whole um, whole area. So I just really wanted to talk to you a little bit. Well, wanted to thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. My pleasure. I really am happy to be here at CBS. Capacity is a big issue for us in the Caribbean and this linking of digital economy and capacity is right time, right thing. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the challenges that are being faced at the moment by uh, small island developing states uh, in building a digital economy and society. Perhaps you could uh, give us your position on that. Well, as you can imagine, the capacity challenges that we experience in the Caribbean are broad. They are multi-sectoral and they affect many levels. In particular, in building a digital economy, a digital sector, we have to think about how are we building the infrastructure for that, not just the technical infrastructure, which has been the focus for so long, and in which, which is an area in which we already have gaps, but also the human infrastructure. We do have skill gaps at many levels and in many areas, and I think those are really the, the challenges. Creating the policies, that we need in order to direct the different uh, stakeholders in the sectors and then ensuring we have the capacity to implement those policies. And of course, consultation. That is a big need, ensuring that all st stakeholders are at the table and able to engage on the processes. Um, we don't have a common language about what does it really mean for a digital economy. I know it's a contested term, but for ourselves in the Caribbean. We kind of need to come together and have some clear ideas on what is the path that we are trying to carve out for ourselves. Um, each sector is deciding and what's happening is that we have uneven progress in many areas, particularly for us in the media. A digital transition has been a major point in our agenda, but again, we're not regionally integrated on this and even nationally we're seeing different uh, movement in progress. So apart from this variation, what do you think are the major challenges facing the, uh, the region in, in, in terms of trying to, to, uh, to get connected in terms of the, the obviously capacity building which is very much what we're focusing on here? Well I think um, we are still working with colonial pathways to one another. Just to get here to Santo Domingo from Barbados. I traveled to Trinidad, to Miami, and then here. It took me all day. We still don't have those direct pathways. And even though we do have regional groupings, political and economic, we still have not been able to create those, those networks in a way that allow us to think together and act together. That's a, a significant part of our challenge. We do have some backbone, we do have underwater cables, that sort of thing, but the last mile on a national basis is still somewhere we have to build out and then, as I said before, we have different actors with different understanding. So academic, definitely, understanding and taking a leading role. Some policy sectors, understanding, but others not yet joined in. And how can capacity building programs help, do you think? Oh, well, as I said, creating that common language, that common understanding, so we can have a consensual plan. Roadmaps are really important for us because at least we can define what do we need to do and where do we have the resources to do it. We're clearly not working with the amount of resources as OECD countries would be bringing to bear on a sectoral basis, but definitely with an integrated effort. So capacity building in um, those kinds of tools, those instruments to guide us and to guide the vision. We do have a, a fairly clear idea of the end goal, but the road to get there is something that we're still creating. We have started on that work um, through the CARICOM Secretariat and one of our major partners, the Caribbean Telecommunications Union. We now actually have an ICT vision and a roadmap. How does it include all the stakeholders? Well, we're starting the first step, so we'll see how everyone gets involved. Now, you've obviously taken the time to be here. What's the importance of being at a symposium like this? Well, the engagement with colleagues, Caribbean colleagues, and extra-regional colleagues 
is the most critical part. The knowledge gained from the various illustrations of experiences, as well as the op opportunity to see, for example, the launch of the new um, uh, publication that we saw today and have access to those kinds of resources, and also to engage with um, different regions of the world to see what are the lessons learned that would allow us to leapfrog over some of the obstacles. So it's, it's been a very rich experience in the day and a half I've been here, and I'm staying to the end. Great. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to join us in the studio today, and we look forward to catching up with you at some stage in the future. Thank you.